met. Uh, I'm Craig. I'm one of Susan's older brothers. And it's my great honor and pleasure to welcome everyone to Susan and Mark's wedding. It's a beautiful day at a beautiful place. Joe's crying already. For one of the most special weddings that I have ever witnessed. Not just because it's my little sister getting married, but because of how personal they've made this occasion. We all know these two as terrific and humble people that had to be convinced to come here today and be the center of attention and let us all celebrate with them. Weddings reflect a couple, expressing who they are and what they value. And it takes just a moment to recognize what's important to Mark and Susan. I've chosen to make this day about family and keeping this evening simple, personal, and elegant. Keeping with their humble nature, I'll always remember a conversation I had with Susan just a few weeks ago, when she called up and said, well, what are you guys doing a Saturday after Thanksgiving? <laughs> <laughs> Which Naomi and I replied, uh, be around, why, what's up? <laughs> she said, we're thinking about getting married that day. <laughs> so we quickly assured her that we would make ourselves available. And here we are. And there's absolutely no place that any of us would rather be. I'd like to take a moment and reflect on what this day means. Most days in our lives go by, some better, some tougher, some great, and many not much different from any other day. This is not one of those days. <laughs> Today is one of those very few, very spectacular days, a day that will produce memories that will not fade. Memories that will develop more character and clarity as time goes by. You will look back on this day many times in the years to come. You will look back to reminisce. You will look back for strength. You will look back when you simply want to smile. So take a deep breath. Smile now. <laughs> look around. And enjoy every moment. Because this evening is going to fly by. Let these moments that you share with people last a little longer. Enjoy these moments. Enjoy the silence between stories. Hold on to those hugs for those few extra seconds. It will be these emotions that set this day apart from all others. This day is all about you two. Thank you for inviting us to celebrate with you. Susan, you hold a very special place in this family. A little sister and a second mother. A beautiful aunt, a precious daughter, and soon, a wife and mother. You have enjoyed every one of these roles with vigor, and you have been a shining example. 
We are all excited to watch you embrace these new roles just the same. Another role that you cherish is friend. You have such a wonderful group of terrific people that you bring together that speaks volumes about you. I know it's hard for you to have only a few of them here today with you. So I wanted to give you a moment and think about all of them and smile. Lastly, a part of your character that I admire is your independence. I will take a little bit of credit here. <laughs> Pushing you out of the nest, urging you to take a chance and go to Australia those many years ago. And now look at you with a sense of adventure that has become yet another dimension of a wonderful year. As a brilliant Nobel laureate once said, may you build a ladder to the stars and climb on every rung. I'm so proud that is how you have chosen to live your life, and I'm so happy you have found someone to share that ladder. Mark. <laughs> Timely tear. <laughs> saw it roll right off his cheek. <laughs> we are just getting to know one. But each chance I get to spend some time, it becomes more and more clear to me why, even though your paths have started from different places, have taken different turns, and even crossed a few times, those paths eventually merged. You two have different interests, but you share the same values, which is what brings you in sync. And then sharing those varied interests grows your world, both individually and together. The qualities I admire about Susan are qualities that you share. Your family is your strength. The way you speak of them is proud and caring. It is clear how much they mean to you. Like Susan, you value your friendships. Not only value, but you make the effort in time, which is not easy with all the life expectations. Your sense of humor is a wonderful dynamic to your relationship, and the laughter that is ever present is a very tangible illustration of the warm relationship. But the quality I like best about you so far is that you bring the best out of Sue. You make her laugh and you make her happy. The Susan I see with you is the most exceptional Susan I've ever known. Susan and Mark. In each other, you have chosen a best friend. Someone to share all of life's adventures. Someone to share not only your dreams, but also your insecurities. With each other to lean on, you will grow stronger together than you would ever have grown old. Family and friends, we're celebrating a lot here today. Not only have Susan and Mark chosen to spend their lives together, they've also made one of the most terrific decisions that a couple will ever make, the choice to start a family. What better reason to celebrate than that? So, without any further ramblings from me, I'd like to get on climbing that next run. I'd like to introduce Erica, Mark's sister. She's going to play a song that has been chosen by Sue and Mark, Into the Mystic, but man, of course. Back in the days of old, I 
And together we will float into the mystery. Mark have written their vows together and they will be sharing them together. Charlotte. Take Susie's flowers. Susan and Mark, please repeat after me. I promise to love, respect, and cherish you. I promise to love, respect, and cherish you. Laugh with you every day. <laughs> Laugh with you every day. Always be honest, especially when it's hard. Always be honest, especially when it's hard. I promise to always fight fair. I promise to always fight fair. Give you space when you need it. Give you space when you need it. And be open to listen when you are ready to talk. Be open to listen when you're ready to talk. I promise to be careful with your feelings. I promise to be careful with your feelings. I promise to forgive you and forgive myself. I promise to forgive you and forgive myself. I promise to celebrate your achievements as well as your plans. I promise to celebrate your achievements as well as your plans. To be present and appreciate each beautiful day. To be present and appreciate each beautiful day. I promise to travel the world together and value experience above material things. I promise to travel the world together and value experience <laughs> I promise to strive to learn. I promise to strive to learn. As an individual, as a couple, and as parents. As an individual, as, as a couple, couple, and as parents. <laughs> I promise to be strong when you are weak. I promise to be strong when you are weak. When we are both weak, I promise to turn to family together to help us through. Both we promise to turn family together to help us. One last step. <laughs> ben, Benjamin, up here. Hey, you got some for me? <laughs> Thank you. He told me very quietly who's the two. As you place this ring on Susan's finger, please repeat after me. With this ring, I marry you and bind my life to yours. It is a symbol of my deepest love. It is a symbol of my deepest love. My everlasting friendship. My everlasting friendship. And the promise of all my tomorrows. Mark, do you take Susan to be your wife? <laughs> Susan, 
Susan, as you place this ring on Mark's finger, please repeat after me. With this ring, I marry you and bind my life to you. With this ring, I marry you and bind my life to you. It is a symbol of my deepest love. It is a symbol of my deepest love. My everlasting friendship. My everlasting friendship. And the promise of all of my tomorrows. And the promise of all my tomorrows. Susan, you take Mark to be your husband. You. <laughs> With the power entrusted in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. the first time as husband and wife, please help me in congratulating Mark and Susan Krause.